G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here with another episode of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. When last we left off, we had just entered the Nashcal Mines. Um, I'm going to admit I am using a guide for this, um, but purely just to remind me, I've played the first several, the first couple of chapters of Baldur's Gate so many times over the years that I pretty much know where everything is, but I'm going to sort of skip through here and just do the areas that are really, um, really necessary for this level. Um, so there's really not a lot on this. Like you can, you know, you can go around this side of the map, you can come around this side of the map, uh, but really the only way that you need to go is down this path here, and you can get to the exit to go to the next level. And and really all of the interactions that you need to have are down this path here. So I'm not going to go and uncover the entire map. I need to be using this uh, party layout in the tunnels. Um, and sure... There are a few little things here and there that you can find. <laughs> I think I'm coughing up blood. So this is Minor Dink, who, as you heard, is coughing up blood. Um, he's not really, but... Uh, he has a friend who's down on the next level, or he hopes he's down on the next level. Um, so Kylie... I don't know, Kylie is a girl's name at least in Australia where I'm from. Uh, but sure, I'll return the dagger to Kylie. Uh, so there we go. That's a simple little uh, tri um, quest. And then the main uh, thing to get down to level uh, two is down here. Now, there are there is a couple of other miners in the other areas on this level that you can talk to and stuff, but there's really not much in the way of loot here and they don't really tell you anything that you don't pretty much already know. Uh, level two of the mines, again, is fairly straightforward, but there's a little bit more that you need to do on the map. So we're going to come forward here a little bit. Uh, so he's, con this is the miner Belden. He's concerned about yipping demons. Well, we know what those are. Those are kobolds, but he doesn't know that. Uh, never heard of a, nip, a yipping demon, and this bunch of kobolds just up here. And then they promptly disappear. Unfortunately, the only person that was seriously injured in that fight was the minor Belden. Um, I'm just going to pick up the arrows. Uh, no, I'll take the bows as well. The short swords aren't worth it, but I think the bows are worth a couple more. Okie dokie. So, um, I think the easiest way, like the, the easiest way to get to where we want to go is up here. So there are a few of these little cutout areas and, and they often have weapons and stuff in them, but it's nothing spectacular. There's a group of, or groups, uh, plural, I think, of kobolds on uh, this little bridgey thing over this subterranean lake. Um... So it's, it's useful to take them out. Here's another one. There we go. Now, is it these ones? I don't think it is, but let's have a look. You've got these mining carts now that you can have a look at. They all have this contaminated iron in it. Um, or at least I think most of them do. I don't think you can actually do anything with that contaminated iron. Um, it's not like the mysterious... Uh, sorry, we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. 
it's not like the mysterious uh, fluid that you find later. Sorry for a spoiler there, but it won't be too long before we find it. Um, so the the liquid that you find later on um, can actually be you can get rid of it. it you know the the uh, the mayor takes it, I think, as part of his investigation, but he never takes any of this contaminated iron, I don't think. So uh, you can pick it up if you want, but you'll probably end up just dumping it in a barrel somewhere at some later point. Oh, dark down here. He wants his dagger back. You give him the dagger, you get 200 experience. Yay. Um, there's, there is a couple of weapons in these, and the soldiers don't mind that you steal them. Um, so you can take them if you want, but they're not really worth all that much. And in particular, if you're going for like a speed run type thing, then you're probably not going to want them. Right. Um, let's go back over the bridge. As I said, we're, we're leaving out a lot of the map here. We're not going to do it all. I think there are a handful of other kobolds on this level. Um in you know these other areas that we're not going to um, we're not going down here we're not going up over here or over here but we are going to go down this way um, and I think there's a few more kobolds that we will come across but I think there's a couple of others around the map if you want to get more experience you can take them all out uh, I'm not going to bother Ooh, our mage got hit There we go, but she used a potion and everything's good now. Okay. I think there's spears in this one, isn't there? A halberd and some... Don't pick up the quarterstaffs, you can't sell them. Um, you've probably already figured this out if you're playing along with me. Which I know some of you are, and that's very encouraging to see. I hope you're doing as well as I am, and I love to hear what characters you've picked and how you're doing. Ah, so here's these bottles, these vials of mysterious liquid. Now, you only really technically need one of them, but I think uh, the mayor will take all of the ones that you bring back, if I remember rightly. If not, we will find a convenient barrel somewhere and chuck them in there later. Whoops. Okay, so let's head on down to the third level of the mines. So pay close attention because you may or may not notice it there, but that is a ring. Now you, you can see it down here. You can pick it up. That's Joseph's green stone ring that his wife wanted us to get. I th I'm positive that previously you had to search the body to find it. But anyway, um, that seems to have changed now. So, yes, this is the way we want to go. So once again, I'm not going to uncover everything on this map, but... I will point out that there is a spot over here. So there's a bridge down this way, um, I believe. Yes, there's a bridge down there that goes across, I think it's like a molten, like a lava lake type thing. Oh, cobalt. Dead cobalt. Is there any more? Yep, there's another one. Make that three more. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm bothering really except they're evil and they have to die. Here we go. And I'm really just coming for the arrows more than anything. Okay. Um, yes, I'm, I'm going this way, though, not because I need to uncover the map, but there is a little bit of loot over here. I don't think it's anything great that I recall. Um, there is, of course, some kobolds guarding the loot. Um... But there's these crates up here, and I think there's a little bit of stuff in some of them. Um, I don't recall what, but I do remember them being there, so we're going to have a quick look.
So I don't think there's much else. Yeah, there's just an empty, an empty like a landing there that looks overlooks the lava. Now I don't recall, but I think there are some traps across this bridge. Well, I do recall. That's why I'm saying it. Um, I seem to recall there being some traps across this bridge. So we're going to take things a little bit carefully. There's also, I believe, some kobolds across here. So I just, uh, yep, see, what did I tell you? There's them traps. But also, there's them kobolds. The good thing is, is because we are all ranged, none of us is going to go charging forward into enemy fire. Except, of course, for Imogen, who is trying to get rid of that trap for us so there we go uh, more arrows and bows so there's actually multiple ways that you can get to the exit on this level you can go over this way and wind your way through actually not this one here the next one uh, yes but I find the easiest way is to come down to the sort of it's a little bit more dangerous area. There's probably some more arrows there that I didn't get. Here we go. I'm not too too worried about the bows anymore. Actually, I shouldn't be too worried about the arrows. I've got plenty. Um, so if we come down over here, uh, there are some giant spiders down in here. And, you know, I just want the experience more than anything like that and I know that we're doing pretty good now so these guys should not trouble us too much like that uh, I don't recall if there's any no nothing hidden in here wasn't sure best to, to check anyway and then we can basically just follow this around uh, and meet more kobolds and kill more kobolds Oh, I had taken a little bit of damage there. And that's all right. Although I should keep an eye on how many potions I have left. I know I've got some spares in my potion case. Do I not? Yes. I've got some spare potions of healing there. And some antidotes and some elixirs of health. So we're doing all right. Um, yes. Okay. I'm also, yeah, that's, I was just about to say, I'm keeping an eye out because I know that there are some kobolds, let me pause, some kobolds around here that have these arrows of fire. And so I needed to be careful because they will do a little bit more damage if and when they hit us. The other thing is, I get the, f I seem to recall, again, um, that... There were traps in this cavern leading, because the exit's just over here. So I'm just taking things a little bit carefully. I can't remember if there's any more kobolds, but I've got a feeling there's traps. So let's just stand here for a second. Maybe quick save. Maybe we'll have you just sneak forward and see if you can see them. Are there any traps? Hello? Oh, look at that. There's traps. One. Two. Three. And we're good. So that's this level. So we're almost through the mines. So we're definitely going to get through it on this level, I think. Gather your party before venturing forth. Okay. So this cave is... This cave is uh, really pretty much the end. I mean, there's a little, one more little sub room that we go into. Um, thankfully, 
those, I think they're actually Kobold Commandos. The ones that are shooting the fire arrows. That's the other thing. We need to identify those, don't we? Uh, let's give them to our sorceress. Who can maybe... Yes, arrow of fire plus two. So we only have four of them. And they only do an extra two points of damage. Oh, sorry, an extra 1d6 of fire damage. Hmm. Save versus spells for none. Uh, and they're plus two to hit. So they're actually quite, uh, quite good. I might even put them up there in my second slot. Uh, and we might use them in the next fight. Um, yeah, if you, if you go this way, as you'll see in a minute, it curves all the way around and, and there's an exit. This way, there's a little curve around this central section. We'll be uncovering a bit more of this in a minute and I'll show you that. Um, we will just come around this way. I don't recall. I, I sort of feel like there was something around here, but I, I'm not entirely sure. I think I used to just always come around here because I always thought there was something. Ah, that's right. There is a ghoul around here. Or, once again, there was a ghoul around here. Yeah, and there's nothing else. There's, like, nothing hidden there or anything like that. Just get that little bit of experience, I guess. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. I think I think we can head on in. Okay, so this fight happens in a couple of different sort of groups. There's this first group of kobolds. And what I actually like to do is come all the way up here. And I know it's going to put me in a little bit of a disadvantage, but I'm going to take my character and bring him all the way down and talk to Malahay. So the bad, the big bad cleric is down in here. I'm going to see, can I slip in here without being noticed? Yes, I think I have. So we will talk to this guy first. This is Zan, a, a sorcerer. So he is a uh, an elven sorcerer. He has this... Okay, so in this game, uh, technically elves can use long swords, short swords, long bow... Uh, sorry, yeah, long bows and short bows. But if they're mages, they can't. In a lot of other games, more, more recent games, that um, special ability of elves of being always allowed to use those is actually allowed. And so you could have, even though they're a mage, they could carry a longsword. This guy is essentially carrying a longsword, even though mages are really only allowed daggers in this game. So uh, it's a, it's a longsword. It's only usable by him. And uh, technically, if you view the stats on it, it says it's a dagger, but it does the damage of a longsword or something like that. It's a little bit weird. I don't want him in my party. He's not all that good. So uh, how did you come to be trapped here? Uh, I'm going to say he's able to join us, and then I'm just going to remove him from the party. And we're done. And I don't know if... I can't remember if he then makes his way back to Friendly Army Inn or anything like that, but uh, yeah. So... The reason why I've done this is, as soon as I attack Malahay, a whole bunch of skeletons and stuff appear. And depending on where you put your characters, depends on sort of how they end up. My guy's going to be in a little bit of trouble, but everybody else should be reasonably good. And I'm going to try and get them to come down and help me out. Uh, I can try and trick him and, and make him think that I am a messenger from Tarzok. But no, I'm going to, to do this. So... As you can see, he's down near me, and most of the other bad guys are up there. If we were sort of around here, we'd be stuck with our enemies in front of and behind us and stuff like that. I think there's a couple of other skeletons in here that I can't see at the moment. But I am literally going to just start attacking him, and then I'm going to get these guys to very quickly take out each of these other groups. Did he get me? No, he didn't. Beautiful. 
Or did he? I think he did, actually. I think I'm held. Rigid thinking. Does that... That does. I can't do anything. I don't have my normal toolbar. I could be in a little bit of trouble here. Can I move the rest of my guys down here? Oh. And get them to attack Mullahay. This may have been a mistake. I've done this before. Aha! There we go. I'm back to... Back to fighting form, but we really want to all attack Mullahay if we can. Uh, I'm not going to let him surrender. We're going to kill him. Where is he? There. There we go. And he's dead. Is that... Yes, he's dropped all of his stuff. Good. Uh, now, damn it, I'm still rigid thinking, so I can't do anything. Can you get down here and cast a heal on me before I end up getting killed? Oh, we got a level. Who got a level? Persuivant got a level. Okay, it's a little bit strange, but we're going to level up in the middle of combat like I do because I really want to be sure that we get the best out of that, and that just means we get an extra 15 hit points, which means we should survive a little bit better. Let's grab that while we can. Um, Yes, I know you're not well, but we are trying. Okay, everybody just kill. There we go. Now, you cast a heal. <sighs> okay, let's, let's do that again. And this time, maybe I won't just... Uh, do it that way. I know, I've, I've done it that way before. Uh, I think maybe when I've played melee characters, it was easier doing it that way. Um, so I think this time we'll keep the group together like so. There we go. And bring our main character down. And there we go. Okay. So this group should be able to take out Mulhay very quickly. Damn it, he got rigid thinking on me again. Sweevance held, but let's give her the extra hit points again. Unfortunately, my character is attacking the party. Almost done. Ah, good. My... My rigid thinking wears off just in time for me to help kill the last of them. Okay. So, yeah, keeping your party together is probably a better option there. In the long run. that. Um, oh, I meant to switch, damn it, to use that. Um, I 
I meant to switch to use those arrows so that I would get some better uh, damage. Got some magic stuff to be revealed there. So this is a letter from Malahay. Sorry, from Tazok to Malahay. Um, note copied. Yeah, that's fine. And oh, was that the same one? Anyway. We're all doing good. Let's talk to this guy, even though he's a bit useless, as I've said. Oh, there's some more goodies there. It is certain that the death of Malahe will relieve the fears of the terrorized folk of Nashkem. But you remain uneasy. While the half-orc may indeed have caused the evils that befell the mine, the shortage of iron is too widespread to be his doing alone. His letters confirm your suspicions. And though they give little indication as to where his cohorts are hiding, they may have links to the bandits that currently plague the coast way. Okay, so... I thank you for my freedom, friends, for uh, I have languished in these dismal vaults too long. Yeah, as we said, not going to take him. Um... Yeah, so that's that's the Nashkal Mines, basically done. Um, you know, we've got to walk out, but we don't actually have to go all the way out. Uh, hang on, cancel that. No, no locks. Okay. That's right, there's just so much. Oh, that's right, yes, okay, so... Um, Yes, I was a little bit mistaken there. The okay, that's Zan's sword there, the Moonblade plus three. See, technically, you need to be proficient in dagger to use it, which is why a mage can use it. But it does the damage of a long sword and it's described here as being a sword um, but it's only usable by Zan so it's I think it's pretty much worth it I don't think, even think you can sell it um, I think all things considered it's probably better just to put it back in here uh, and we're done was there any other treasure that we missed oh look at that there was another skeleton there that didn't bother to attack us from last time. Well, he shan't last very long. Is there anything else up here? No. Okay. So we're going to head out now. Okay. So I'm stopping here because there are some oozes just around here. There's the first one. It's a grey ooze. I'm going to switch. So by the way, if you don't know, when, when you have a bow equipped in any of your slots, right-clicking on it allows you to choose the ammunition that you want to use from your quivers. So I'm going to choose to use the fire arrows. Oops. Um... And I better attack as well. So there we go. And there's the second one. There we go. We killed it with one hit. Those fire arrows definitely help with that. And then your exit area is just a whole big area down here. So we are now over here to the east of the Nash Canal Carnival. But we're going to leave our episode for there. So thank you for joining me for this episode of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like and share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all of the latest episodes, and I will see you for the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.